yourself Before you accuse me Take a look at yourself Say I've been spending money on other women But you've been talking to someone else Classic example. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at lots of kinds of things you can do with this great tune, Before You Accuse Me. Now, this was written by Bo Diddley back in the late 50s and covered by lots and lots of people, including Creedence Clearwater Revival on their album Cosmos Factory in 1970, and again brought back into more current uh, consciousness by Eric Clapton from his Unplugged album. And this is just, we're going to take a look at Lots of little licks and fills that you can do when you're playing blues in the key of E. Kind of keeping a steady bass going. I'll be using a thumb pick for this, mostly again, to save a little wear and tear on the uh, soft skin on my thumb. And, uh, and we'll be looking at just keeping the basic rhythm going. Very standard blues riff in a very standard 12-bar progression. And talking about the fills that you can do in the key of E, as well as different, different ways of doing the turnaround. We hear that one in a lot of tunes. Not in Eric, not exactly like that, but also we're not going to be too worried about playing everything note for note the way Eric did here. What we're going to be trying to do is just get the feel for keeping the, the blues going and learning again some of the very stock licks. And and how, how, uh, how the solos change according to the chords and, and things like that. So we're going to be able to take this 12-bar blues tune and learn a lot about blues and improvising and playing cool stuff. So let's start talking a little bit. We'll get into a theory segment, just reviewing kind of 12-bar blues, look at some of the techniques of keeping your, keeping your thumb going and using your finger, one finger a lot of times, to play a lot of the melody. So that's some of the techniques involved in Before You Accuse Me. Let's talk a little bit about 12-bar blues, in case you're not too familiar with it, so this will be going back to kind of the beginning. But 12-bar blues form is just something that includes 12 measures, hence the term, the term bar is synonymous with measure. So it's 12 measures long, played in various keys, can be really in any key. Common keys on the guitar, though, are E and A. Take a look at some of the basic things that happen in Before You Accuse Me and in general in 12 bar blues. What I'm doing here to play my E5 chord is flattening out my first finger across the second, uh, the second fret of the fifth and fourth strings and really even killing the third string because well, all we really want to hear is three strings, two or three strings here. And it's really important that you're getting the sixth string and the fifth. Those are the vital notes here. This is what the thumb is doing in here, Big Bill Brunzi style, but we got this, of course, from Bo Diddley in this particular song, and that is pounding away on the bass in this shuffle time where the ands are on are late, one and two and three and four and, and I'm muting the bass down here with the bass of my hand, touching the sixth, the, the lower strings right at the saddle. Let's take a look at the intro, and then just a very simple way of playing the accompaniment without worrying about any fills 
or anything like that. So get out the tablature. Let me get mine handy here. And we're gonna, I'm going to walk through this for the first four measures pretty exactly here because this is really worth working on and getting down. Now, again, we've got the bass just pounding away sometimes on the first of our three beats and sometimes on the, on the third, first and third of our three beat little figure that happens in 12-8 in in time. So we come in on the last beat of the measure. This would be the 12th beat. And then we have three brushes across our D7 chords sliding into it. I usually do the slide with my third and fourth finger, my second, third, and fourth fingers, but you're welcome to use your first, second, and third as well. So there's that first measure. Let me play that again. Now on the very first beat of the second measure, thing sounds like. Let me play that one more time. In this segment, I want to talk a little bit about some of the types of fills that Eric Clapton did in here. So if you're singing the verse, you pretty much have just keeping the, the E going while you're singing the first line. Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. Now in the middle of this measure, throws in, it might be there, it might be a beat earlier, it doesn't really matter, but this hammer on from G natural to G sharp. Get out the tablature, if you don't already have it out, if you haven't been following along all the way. What I want to do in this segment is kind of slowly walk through the solo, the first solo, labeled solo one there, and just look at some of the things that happen and trying to incorporate it. We're not, we're not going to worry too much about playing it exactly, and I might, might have some little additions to things in the tablature as I get through this. So the main thing that this starts with is these notes at the 10th and 12th frets, which are notes out of an E7 chord while we're pounding on the E and the bass. So the bass is keeping up that rhythm, and the, the high notes are playing all three of the beats. Now, that happens a little bit later because we just have three of those and, and then the melody descends. One, two, three. Well, there's only so much that can be done in a video to show how to play this kind of stuff. And uh, I just, it's not worth a note for note accurate. Uh, play this note, then play that note, and play that. You'll never get the feel for blues if that's your approach. So you really just have to get the technique down of this, and you could easily practice just keeping pounding on the E in the bass and make up a little melody out of our E's blues run, out of the E blues scale. G and G sharp you could use, and then B, D, E, and G. type of exercise, maybe experiment, is really how you'll get the hang of doing all of this in here. So I'm not going to break down solo two any more than, or like I did solo one, because it's so close to the same. But definitely experiment with it and just do everything you can to make this feel natural.